<laughs> okay, so the succubi have an 11. They're actually <laughs> acting first, but moving last. Moving on the board. Perdodge snaps out of it. Actually, Vali's got to move first. He's the lowest in the ship score. Um, how far is Arizona from me now? 60, 70, 80, 90. He's still 100 feet. So, <laughs> I move at what again? 50 feet in action. So in two actions, I could just charge right up to him. Yeah. I'm going to fucking charge right up to him. So I can now you realize that having the lowest initiative score, you have to move first, so everyone's going to see you running across this field and be able to react. Should I wait? If you had a higher initiative charging, it would make sense. But the way this game is structured, uh -huh. since those who have the lowest initiative have to move first, it represents everybody else being more aware of the well, battlefield than they are. i got to try to get close enough to drop that babbling bubble off. I understand that, so, but if you go the whole distance, he's just going to see you coming. You're going to be like, ah, 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 side step. Oh, hi. Bam. Well, I would suggest I do. <laughs> like, I, if I use the dehydrating dart thing again, that's not going to do a whole lot of good. Uh, actually, the demons are extras. They only have 12 health points. You've taken two-thirds of the health points off that demon. Yeah, but it's not going to help. Anyone? Yes, removing an active combatant from the battlefield doesn't help anybody at all. Well, she's getting crushed. In the words of Palpatine, I appreciate that it. you are concerned about your teammate. Oh, you just have a range shot from where you are. He's within range unless he retreats. And if he retreats, don't go into the curtain area and break eye contact with Rayway. Do it. Do it. So. <laughs> do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. If you want to, the other thing you do is you can move up maybe say one movement action to the next column so you have cover from the big evil wizard. Uh, like what, demon. right here? Mm-hmm. And closer to the Yeah, because the cover really helped you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had to spend a legendary chip to counteract that cover. Thank oh, okay, you very that's much. true. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna... But still, nonetheless, it's a funny observation. Yeah, it really helped me. Okay. So that's your move. That way it gets me closer to dropping the babbling bubble on him. Mm-hmm. I got a lot of pee pee tonight. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Well, I've been, I've been having the show of the water. Okay, she's pregnant. She has this. Okay, so. I had the bladder of an eight year old. Bradage moves yeah, up okay. to try to help Kale. I'm kidding. You pee more than anybody I know. Iski moves to attack this one who accepts the attack, so they get into a tussle. Chick fight! Chick fight! Chick yeah. fight! Chick fight! Chick fight! Come on, throw some oil in there. And speaking of <laughs> stripes. And speaking of chick fights, the other chick, the other succubi, looks like she's gonna move up to attack Kale if Kale will accept it. I mean you have people all within arm's reach. Let it happen, baby. Alright. <laughs> Fuck it. You just want more hot chicks banging on you. <laughs> hey, if I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna go out in style. <laughs> With a grin on your face. <laughs> Alright, so they need to attack. So say the initiative, they actually attack you guys first. Would you like to go full defense, or you want to take it piece by piece? Take it like a man. Well, since I've got so many on me like this, I mean, every round, I'm seemingly going to have to be on full defense. At some point, I'm going to have to take action. So let's go one more round of full defense and see what happens. Give me a full defense total. Take it like a man, dude. Take it like a man. Take it. What happened, baby? I mean, come on, man. You, you know that in an exciting time like this, you're going to get some scratches. Now, keep on a full defense. If they fail to hit you, you still get a counterattack. Especially if they fumble attack, you still get a counterattack. Yeah. Uh, I rolled an 18 again. Yeah, you're going to get some scratches on you, baby. Yep. Yeah. It's a legendary. Legendary? Okay. Yeah. Get some scratches on you, baby. Got some. I need some battle scars. Sumerian. Good Sumerian needs battle scars. Son of a bitch. Scar Both up. of the succubi trying to attack you fumble. One of them fumbles twice. Oh. So you get counterattacks now. Counterattacks are freebies given whenever oh, somebody shit. in your presence fumbles. Fuck yeah, so come on, bitch. Counterattacks often do not do as much damage as regular attacks. It's kind of a spontaneous, instantaneous thing. Okay. Roll me your agility and uh, weapon skill against both of them. You only need successes to hit. 18. <laughs> DOS is? That is, I'm running on my agility. Mm -hmm. 18 is 
dramatic. On dramatic, you have a counterattack with a negative one damage. Okay. And then for the second one? Is this for the attack or for... Roll all your counterattacks first, see what the damage okay. totals are. Ah, still hit, but... Don't, don't forget to add your axe skill. Oh, shit! Yeah, you keep you just adding your agility. You got that oh, weapon skill to it, too. Fuck, I didn't do it at the last roll. Oh, I missed out on the last roll. I won't miss out on this one. Doot, doot, doot. And that would be uh, another dramatic. So it's another one that neg one. And then one of them missed twice, so you have one more free counterattack. One more. Oh and just God. so you know, there are certain advantages that when you go full defense, you mm -hmm. can actually attack when they just fail to hit you, not just when they fumble. That's what I was quoting from before. 23 on 10? I need to get 23. I, I'm rolling on a column 7, plus 3 is 10. Mm -hmm. I rolled a 19. That's 19, 19. That's it. You just roll 19. On a 19 and 20, you roll an extra bonus. D6. Oh, yeah, I rolled the extra bonus. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So, that puts me at legendary. On a legendary, you have a counterattack for full damage. So, one of them takes two hits at negative one damage, one of them takes a full hit. Okay. So now you roll your strength and weapon, so that's going to be a total of 12 for one of them, and two 11s on the other. Right? Because your strength was a 6? My strength is a 6, yeah. So 6 plus 6, you're using a battle axe, right? Right. That's normally column 12, one of them takes a column 12 hit, and then one of them takes two column 11 hits. Right, let's just okay. do this one at a time, I'm already confused. Ready? 18! Again? Look! I'm not, dis I'm not disputing that. Dead like, succubi. Like, damn you, man. That's the only thing I'm going back. This isn't, and now, this isn't the die you're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> and now two rolls on the other succubi for column 11. I love this fucking die, man. Uh-oh. That ain't good. Hold on. 11 on 10. Mm -hmm. It's still heroic. That's a severe wound. And another one on it. And one final. Come on, baby. 12. It's still heroic. It's heroic. Another heroic. So, you managed to kill these two succubi. Kill just <laughs> block, 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 slash, slash, Damn. kill. Damn! The Sumerian is. It's a little meat grinder. Jeez. Well, they both flubbed it, so just got as lucky as an Ishinara did. Mm -hmm. I'm or going Iskinara. to spend a white for the succubus attacking Perdage. Oh, no, I don't not want Perdage to die. Yeah, he's got a wife and everything. Oh, mm -hmm. mm. He takes a minor wound from one hit, a major wound from the other one, and then she fumbles. And on the fumble, he manages success. He lightly wounds her. Okay. Fight over here between Iski and the other succubi. Come on, Iski. Excuse me. Hit parry, hit parry, hit parry, fumble! Oh, God. And Iski drops a 25 to hit her with that one. Nice. Wait, that's Iski against the uh -huh. Oh, nice. And severs off an arm, dead succubus. Oh, wow. Good job, Iski. Cell Swords uses a very high lethality system because I wanted people to actually think about stuff before they do it. And as fast as it seems and as unlike D&D &D with its longer combats are, like mm -hmm. when we do the Dying Tree, which is going to be our version of D&D, &D, Dying Tree's going to have much longer combats than this. You can spend all night in a combat session. That doesn't apply to a Cell Swords deal. You think of the action in a Con and Tail, although it's dramatic and it's high, it's typically over pretty quick. Because, well, people bleed and die. Mm -hmm. Right? So, yeah, in a couple of rounds, you guys have taken out most of these succubi, only leaving uh, one in a demon. And next up in the initiative order, as far as acting, is the wizard. Yeah, Freylin, we need to... Who, yeah, seeing that he's losing, decides rather than crush Freywin, he's just going to throw her as hard as he can against the column. Ooh. Can I dodge? You're yeah, I got a hold of you. You're in his clutches. Yeah. Dude. I'm dead. You have your shoe? He throws Freywin against this column. He says, I can't do anything. I said you can't dodge. Can I put my shield up in front? You try to block, yeah. yeah. So you see the column coming, put the shield up, try to brace for it. Mm -hmm. Give me a block roll, that's your shield and your strength. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I 
strength's pretty damn high. I may have actually pulled it off. And remember the way I worked comics. Oh, I got a shield and cell sword. You can always block for free as long as you have the shield. Mm -hmm. So in that situation, you're getting hit by all those people. If you had a shield, you could clear block, block, block. Got that mine. And just throw damage damage saves against the damage and then counter back. That's actually gave me a partial. Good. Something. Yep. Okay. Oh, oh wait, I've had the wrong place. Moderate damage. Oh. Maybe I had it in the wrong place. Wait. The die six goes to the roll itself, right? Correct. Oh, okay. He slams you into. So that's actually. Actually, that's a success. That column for what would normally be a severe wound. That's actually a success. I your, didn't, I didn't your dice shield, it. But your shield has a what RV? Do, 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 do. Shield, 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 RV. Do, 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 do. Where's my shield? Oh, it's Bash. Okay, I just wrote it down Bash. I don't remember what I wrote down for the damn thing. What kind of shield is it? Medi uh, it's a round shield. Standard round shield. Okay, and you get on me for my character sheet being incomplete? Oh, shit. I never wrote it down. Clearly. I just wrote down that I had it. And I wrote down the damage it does when it hits some, hit something you with it. You seem to be discrepant in a lot of your stats. Not really, no. I just, I didn't... I'm watching you, Bust Buster. <laughs> You're on the shit list now. Oh, there it is. Plus two AB. I think that is. I've heard labor. I didn't ask that. for the AB, man. I asked for the RV, the resistance value. Yeah. What kind of round shield is it? Small? Large? No. Large. Large round shield has an RV of six. Okay. I have plus three parry ratings, probably what you're confusing them with. Ah, okay. All right, so with an RV of six, it's going to take six points out of his attack, bring it down from ten to four. Eleven on four ends up producing a light wound. You take a light wound when he slams you into the column. You write that down. I didn't have anything in here written for shield. With his last action, he disappears behind the curtain. Oh, boy. Leaving Volley to go with a demon. Yay. Volley's going toe to toe with the man. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna dehydrate dart that damn demon, and my next <laughs> thing will be going after. He's gonna double D it. Sure. <sighs> yeah, here it is. Yeah, I did have it. I just didn't have it in the wrong place. I did have it. Really? I what? I need to label it very well. I rolled a four. Oh. So yeah, that's a not. A, it's not a fumble. It's just just not. A. Okay. So you try to throw the dart at the demon and fail. The demon fades from view. Great. And you all sense that your attempt to assassinate the wizard has not been successful. All right, new initiatives, go. <sighs> I didn't have it labeled, that's what happened. That was ooh. Five again. Poo poo. Poopy. I didn't have it labeled, that was the issue. Now I got it labeled. The succubi has a one. I don't think I need to detail the rest of this fight. There are five of you and one of it. I could care less about that thing. I'm running towards there. Okay. So Freeman takes a full run action towards the thing. I'm just going to accelerate time. Party kills the succubus. When you get to the chamber, you find the wizard has gone through a back door and has fled. You now have to basically hunt him down through the palace, but now the guards that were starting to rally, you might want to start escaping instead. We won't have we won't have another chance like this though. That's the problem. That's true. Actually, do these fuckers know that this asshole is also a demon? Hey, no. the suck dead succubi on the ground. Do they look like succubi? That's where I'm getting at. As a matter of fact, they do. They died in their demonic. Form. We can get these guys on our side, possibly. Call him a, a demon commoner. Demonologist. Demonologist. Yeah. Yep. Blah blah blah. blah. Demonologist. Prodigy goes, that would require we all pretend to be good Terranians. Which, except for Prodigy, none of us are. Prodigy goes, even I'm not that good of a Terranian. <laughs> oh, hell. My friends, I will try to spend the life. This is what we really want to do. Because I don't think we're going to find him in this myriad palace. You can't 
Yes. Well, I can spin that line. We might want to send, because, you know, those two don't pass it off as terrain. At all. So they might want to go ahead and book it. Oh, I'm going after the freaking wizard. I'm pissed now. <laughs> <laughs> is the sage basically implying... I, I need to hear what the party is doing. The sage needs to hear what the party's plan of action here is. Uh, well, so... is there... Kale has suggested we bullshit our way through this, which is a really good idea since you have evidence of demonology on the floor. Yeah. Freywin says basically stating her blood is up. She's going to track down the wizard no matter what. So she may even be there for the conversation. That's all I need to know around the yeah. table. What are you all doing? I don't think you should do this, Raymond. Let's. However, it would be keeping character. I would reward it at least a white chip. Yeah, I mean, I I yeah. do not want to get this fucker time to entrench himself someplace else. So Freyman's not even there for the conversation. You see her take off down the hallway. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, um, <sighs> she probably shouldn't go alone. So I would say, yeah, who would be the best one to? Well, I know Is Iski and me have high charisma, so we would probably more likely be able to pull off the whole bullshitty thing. And you need to there. she won't be able to talk, because... They won't listen to a woman alone. You should go after her. Terranians, they're sexist. Yeah, so Iskanara should go after her. If I go after Freyway and they catch two women alone, they're not going to believe you one of us. If oh. you're with her, they might listen to you. You better go now. Oh, Bali goes with. Yeah. Okay, well, Volley will take off after. All right, so Volley is after Freywin, leaving us in the room. Good luck. <laughs> Just don't say anything. Well, it's up to it's up to you and I. Okay. Round the table. Start with people in the room. Give me a perception or in roll. Six. And it rolled an 18 again. Oh. So you're cursing Freywin's vannerness <laughs> when you hear whimpering from the other curtained room. Ooh. I inspect. When you say inspect, what specifically do you do? I'm going to go see what the locus of the whining is. So you just walk up to the veil and ripping it open? Yep. You walk up, open the veil, rip it open, and inside there are a bunch of children that have been chained to posts. In the middle between them, there's some kind of obscene magic square. Oh, there's our proof. Okay. And the children chained to the post have bits of them look like they've been burned or hurt, as apparently they've been prodded to like reach into the square and grab things for the wizard. The square itself is not of this world. Inside that square, there's some extra-dimensional space that's pulling something in from the weird. Okay. And they look up <clears throat> at you, and one of the masks in terrain, in which you don't speak, Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt. But Dodge Howard does speak it and says back to Korean, no one's going to hurt you anymore. We need you to tell the truth about what happened. Okay. You two. I need, first, being able to make sure you're going the right way. Perception and awareness. Neg three. Unfamiliar territory and in a rush. Mm -hmm. You got tons of chips. There you go. That brings it down to neg one. White chips add two. Do I still have to roll? Do I still have to roll? Unless you want to take the automatic success rule. Just the automatic success rule. Right, so that means that when you take automatic success, it means you only get a success when you spend the chip rather than try to roll for a success. If I saw Matt pick up a die. I, I'll probably roll mm -hmm. again anyway. So Matt's trying to get a higher DOS than normal. Yeah. That's one of the balancing agents in the system. Is it perception and what? Perception and awareness. Yep, perception and awareness. My perception and awareness is only a four. Heroic. Right. You can follow him. You have a good idea. You can tell from like way doors are closing and the sounds of his footsteps. Now I need athletics and constitution to keep pace with him. Success will keep you pace. Every DOS over success will put you closer to getting him. Wow, wow. 26. <laughs> okay, what do you have? 26. Epic. I need a DOS. Oh. Four, six, ten, twenty-six is an epic. Damn. Can I have a chip back, please? <laughs> Didn't you spend a chip on the roll? Yeah. Yep. Then no. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sneaky little bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I need mean, you to get one with Wait, on the front, front, the perception know, awareness just... is the one that you spent a chip on. You didn't do it with the card. No, you spent one on that one, too. Oh, he did? Okay. I, didn't, I know I did not spend one on, on that. I only saw Matt spend one chip tonight. Really? Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, I just did for the perception awareness. The perception awareness, that was the... Uh... I'm sorry, I just wanted my chip back because I just took them over the Okay, so Freywood catches up to the wizard as he's running through the kitchens on this level. Servants are diving out of the way. He sees you coming. He tries to fire off a spell. Roll initiative. So I got seven. Yeah. Cool. I just do it on this. It's easier. Seven. The wizard goes first. He gets his spell off. He chants something. His hands turn black. Yes. Your go. <laughs> she throws the sword at him. No, the axe. <laughs> All right. Roll your toss. 18. Two. Throwing weapons. Oh, I got rid of die six. Throwing weapons on. Oh, 18 is 22. Throwing weapons plus three plus seven. That's 10. 18. That's four is 22. That is a legendary. <sighs> I had a legendary too, but he's the hero. <laughs> the wizard actually grabs somebody. They die the moment he touches them. He tries to pull the body in front of him like a shield. The axe goes through the body and into him. Ow! Roll damage. Nice. 14. What column? Oh. Well. I need a DOS. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. He's used to D&D re roll damage. We're so excited, excited too about... You know, yeah, you want this guy dead. I get it. <laughs> I was just to make you hate him. I got it. <laughs> well, it's a... It's a Axe, right? Yeah, so that's plus 12. So column 12. Mm -hmm. What's 14 on 12? I don't have my chart in front of me. That's okay. Someone read it off for me. That's a dramatic. That would be a dwarf wound. So <laughs> the axe is sticking in the boy's chest. He drops the body, looks down. <laughs> I'm not done yet. <laughs> Whip out my other axe. All right, so <laughs> hold on. Can we do so much in a round? You were chasing him. Mm -hmm. You threw the axe. Yeah. Grabbing the weapon would be your third action. You're mm -hmm. acting out for the round, so it's okay. the next round. But Volley gets to Volley. act first. Uh, how close am I? This is kind of loose right now, so you're in range to do whatever you want to do. He's going to run up and he's going to drop babbling bubble on that guy. Fucker, mm -hmm. so we can't cast any more magic. <laughs> <laughs> Here, want to borrow one touch? <laughs> Use the red. <laughs> That's a good idea. I'm gonna add this to it. <laughs> a good thing I did because it's not a great roll, but it's not terrible. So the red chip adds adds three. Adds three. So nine. Plus three, that would make it... No, no, no. You have a nine on your dice? Oh, yeah. Sorry. So, nine plus five, that would be... Fourteen. Fourteen. It's a column. So, column nine plus three, that would be column twelve. 12. So, fourteen on that is a dramatic. Dramatic means 50% mana and a plus two. No, plus three in the ADO. So, you're on column Princess. five. No, yeah, plus two. You're rolling a column four. I'm sorry. Is it, a, is it an AV2 spell, if I remember correctly? It's an AV3 spell. Oh, five. my mistake. So, AV5. Okay. Um, I have to... Hold on, I'm confused. I'm rolling damage or something? It's been a while since I've heard Babbling Bubble with the AV. What does so it do? So, basically, Babbling Bubble, what it does, it's just, just a subtle motion whispering, and basically the effect can be resisted each round with will and resolve. Oh, they resist AV5. Yeah, okay. so all targets within a 10-foot radius must make a resistance check each round, not to spill everything that okay. is in their mind if they fumble incredibly damaging social thoughts. So his intelligence is much higher than 5, because he's you know, the main enemy villain, so mm -hmm. he's only going to need successes. Doesn't matter, though. He rolled 6. It's not a success even on his high intelligence. <laughs> so, you hear the wizard babbling, and he actually says the next incantation he was casting wrong. Oh, no. 
black, purple, and red evil things suddenly appear in his aura and just literally rip him apart in front of you, the skin comes off first. The blood should shoot out, but instead the blood just kind of like flows into that altered dimension. And the poor Arizon has the time to look at He has time to try to babble a word of power, but babbles the wrong one. <laughs> And his head literally explodes in pulp in front of you. And the entire kitchen staff saw him cast this spell. Uh, we have witnesses! Well, Freywin's just going, they also saw you cast a spell. Ah, so Freywin's just is going, whispering, so they may not have noticed. Yeah, that's a good point. They may not have noticed. <laughs> true, true. Oh, you lucky bitch. <laughs> I'm just sitting there like this going. <laughs> lucky, lucky bitch. Oh. I am so happy that he is dead. I am actually doing a little dance and jig right there going, yes, you fucker, you're dead. <laughs> back in the palace room. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the boat of the chicken ranch. Guards are showing up. Some have crossbows. Some have uh, pikes. And they all see what's going on and see the slaughter of what are obviously not human beings. And being good superstitious trains, they do what most superstitious people would do. They stab them and make sure they're dead. <laughs> Which is a perfectly logical precaution. <laughs> and they don't like you know, stab and withdraw. It's like stab through the heart, give me a new one. Stab through the head, give me a new one. Stab through the liver. <laughs> because I would think that in Hyboria people would be paranoid about this stuff. Just call it a hunch. It's hunt. not paranoia if they're really out to get you. Yeah, it's not fun if there really are invisible demons trying to get your face off. Mm -hmm. Okay. They come up to you as if you are in a guard uniform. They're like, what happened here? Brothers, says Pradaj. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. <laughs> oh, really? Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Yes, bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Bullshit, 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 bullshit. Shows the kids. kids. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get committed to this. Well done. And they start filtering out, and Pradaj is like, we don't want to be here when the captain of the watch comes by, because they realize we're not his men. We need to exit Ixtang now, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, my mom is fucking panicking. <laughs> yeah, thank God I got an RN for a mother. She tends not to panic over these things. I just so, thought I was playing D&D, &D and she's like, you're at people's house? <laughs> <laughs> you should have said that! I shouldn't have. My mother knows I'm mom. here, but the only reason she she let me come is because she's pretty damn sure I don't have it. Otherwise, she let me wouldn't let me within a hundred yards of you. Continue. I'm sorry. I need a stealth and jelly roll to get out of the room. <laughs> Follow our path. Let me tell my mom I'm rolling the stealth roll. <laughs> I got it. Fifteen. That's at least heroic. Yeah, she's she's paranoid about your health and having us over here with you. All right, so we are all out of there. Um. Not quite the ending I saw, but not too far off. <laughs> I did think the wizard would die in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> They're not going to be able to scrub that out of the floorboards. And, and, and whatever hell he's in, you know there's Steven's torture making fun of him. Did you die in the kitchen? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Great Ari Zong commands us around. Flay, flay. Shall we get some scallops with that? You know, just... He got whacked by a female barbarian with a battle axe. And it no, see, that's respectable. <laughs> and a beginning wizard no, 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 no. of Zamora. Getting whacked by the barbarian is respectable. <laughs> Having another wizard take you off the spell creatively is respectable. But dying in the kitchen? <laughs> Wizards are supposed to die at, like their dark altar, or worshiping their dark god, or on the battlefield. Or, you know, that's usually happens because people are smart in their sleep. <laughs> you died in the kitchen next to the sous chef. <laughs> And you have all of an afterlife to try to live that down. It's not happening. <laughs> uh, right. So I look at the kitchen staff and go, um, um, I'm not cleaning that up. <laughs> we must go report this immediately. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I'm glad you guys get your stealth and jelly rolls. <laughs> I was thinking more along the line of bullshit roll, but... <laughs> So give me your stealth and agility. I know, rules, I'm, just, I'm just trying to... <laughs> Try to leave. We're going to say that bullshit's automatically successful. All right. Actually, not too bad. I was expecting much worse, considering... <sighs> after all those high rolls, I was expecting at least one bad roll. Oh. That's moderate. 
So, so stealth and agility. So let's see. I really need to. I need to jock up on my that. I got a partial. I got a heroic. All right. So basically, between everybody's roles, we are remembered leaving the palace. Mm -hmm. People saw us leave, but since there's so many successes and such high degrees of success, nobody stops you. But you will be remembered. So basically, if you ever come back to Turin, particularly Agrippur, you can expect to probably have been remembered. And Start keeping a list of places where you probably should go back. Yeah, I was say, and is that a mixed uh, problem for us in this place, or just don't go there anymore? You don't know yet. <laughs> Depends how it shakes out. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and accelerate some time here. Yeah, let's get so our camels and go. You uh, basically <laughs> leave the city that night. Oh, yeah. Have to bribe a gate guard to let you out. You've got the money, though, from, yeah, yeah. from the Lotus sale. <laughs> Take all you want. <laughs> We're out of here. And you and Perdodge are back. Day three of the turn home, you realize you're being followed by Terranian cavalry. Oh, great. And day seven, from the dust trail on the horizon, you realize the Terranian army had actually already been mobilized before you assassinated the wizard. But what has just happened will make the battles a lot easier, because you basically took away the Terranian army's reconnaissance in its eyes. Excuse Plus me. its ability to... I had planned in the actual battle, he's going to cast demons, have them assassinate some of the leaders on the morning of the battle. So I'm going to go ahead and suggest that, uh, though I'm pretty sure this is going to piss off Bradaj, and I understand his feelings completely, we're going to transfer to the camels for this little runaway. Let the horses run free? Try to throw because, them off the trail? Yeah, because the camels, A, will not be... It breaks his heart, but he sees the wisdom of it. Yeah, because they can, they can amble all and freaking day. If it's not clear, that's because the Terranians going to hire to have a thing for horses. Yeah. Uh -huh. Horses are their preferred animal. And there's the thing that a camel can go to what basically we call a trop. It's actually called an amble because it's very smooth for hours on end. Yeah. Without towering. And they're not called ships of the desert for no reason. Yeah. It's going to make you, if you're not used to it, you get So you outdistance your pursuers with now warning the training <laughs> army is on its way to Zamora. Mm -hmm. And when you get to the mountains, you discover that the Zamoran army has also been mobilized somehow. Uh, we got a whole army behind us. And it's not friendly. And we will pick up the next adventure there. The War Drums of Turn will conclude Ow. with that. And congratulations, guys, although the adventure is not over. That mm. didn't go as well as I was hoping it would go for y'all. Mm. But that pretty much is what needed to happen. Without the Terranian army having access to its main wizard and demonologist, mm. you now have equal chances of defeating the Terranians. Okay. Now the next adventure will be playing out the battle system. Every one of you will control part of that army. Okay, what's the name of this one again? Because I didn't write it down. Wardrums of Turin. It's not done yet, though. Okay, Wardrums of Turin. I know. I just didn't write it down, and so I didn't have it listed. And I'm going to post up a video during this week about the battle system and how it functions. Let me grab. Yeah, do that because I'm going to watch it. What I'm doing. It gives me an idea of how to plan tactics for this thing. 